where we compare it, it's uh, ice hockey without the ice and without the skates and uh, players don't have so much equipment. The plate is lighter, we play with the ball, not the puck and we are saying uh, the Nordic countries that it's the uh, fastest ball sport. 10 minutes to go boys, 10 minutes to go, come on! Because like goalie can uh, save the ball and two seconds it can be on the other side in the goal. <laughs> It's so much faster in person than it is when you're watching on video. On video, the camera's canning with the players, so you don't really appreciate how fast they're going. And here they go from stop to like a complete sprint, and then the ball will go the other way, and everyone just turns on a dime. I know a couple of NHL players who has been also playing floorball, and they say it's good because it's so fast-paced, and the rink is kind of like an NHL rink. Yeah! Like smaller rink, you have to make the decisions quite fast and everything, so it helps also in the ice hockey. But yeah, it's easy to grasp. Come on, boys, keep calm, keep calm. Easy balls all the time for us. There are three periods, each of which are 20 minutes, and there's a 10 minute intermission between each. So these are the only caps he has. One of the main differences between floorball and hockey is that you don't have body checking. You have to have to play the ball the whole time. So you can't stick check, you can't like hit someone on the shorty. You can have body contact when you're both chasing the ball, but you can't do it preemptively. There are some rule differences from the ice hockey. Of course, we don't have the equipment that much. Of course, we have a, one player now from NHL, Jonas Donsko, and we have to remind him that he cannot take the ball with his hand and put it on the floor. That is forbidden, that is a penalty, so maybe that one is easy. But you don't see it that much in floorball. It's a lot of fun and my background is in hockey. I just retired a year ago, so this is my first time trying it. And, and you know, we have, most of our team is Finnish guys, so it's, we have a good group of guys and it's been fun to talk with them. But it's a lot similar to hockey. A little bit less aggressive, a little bit less physical, but other than that, no offsides, no icings. But other than that, it's pretty similar. So it's a, it's a fun, fast game. Honestly, I'm here to break a sweat, have some fun, and like I said, I have a lot of friends in the team, so I'm trying to help them throw the game, and, and a lot of people here in the States just know what floorball is, so hopefully me being here, it's, it's going to help a little bit with that, and kind of the main reason I'm here. I'm also in a happy situation that I can play for my like, job, so it's pretty big, but it could be bigger. But it's so much cheaper than uh, ice hockey and everything, so that's why the player base have been exploding. And it's still a young sport in Finland also and Nordic countries, but it has been growing so much because it's easy to grasp. And a lot of uh, Finnish players play in school and everything. And so maybe that is the why. Easy sport and cheap. We are trying to keep this NAFL to this summer, summer sport because that is the only way we can come out of the Nordic countries and play and show the game here. But all of us uh, start our season right when we go back to Finland and Nordic countries. But we came like two weeks ago in Austin. We played there one week and then we played in uh, Nashville, Clarksville one week. And this is the final week here. You know, we've been doing a lot of work with kids and, and bringing four ball sticks to schools and, and get people familiar with it. And I think the main thing for me, what I think is it's, it's a lot cheaper than hockey and, and it's not possible for all the kids to, to start playing hockey because of the, the cost of it. So I think for the parents out there, like this can be a great alternative for kids who love hockey and but maybe can't afford it so they can still play a similar game. I'm a bit crazy about it and uh, well, everyone should try it because we are trying to bring it also in here. It started from the schools in Nordic countries and we are trying to do the same thing in here. So hopefully the school environment will pick up the sport and uh, then you guys can enjoy it more. <laughs>